The first thing you'll notice about the new Files app here in iPad OS 26 is that you get to it through this lovely liquid glass interface. Let's open up the Files app. The second thing you'll probably notice is this mouse cursor. It's now got a point, which does make it easier to, I don't know, point at things as opposed to the old blob that we had in previous versions of iPad OS. The next thing you're going to notice is that I've got colors for these folders. Yes, you can change the folder colors and you can even add emojis to your folders. It's pretty cool. To get to these, we tap and hold and go to this one, customize folder and tags. And here we can change the tag of this one. Let's make it uh, the red tag here. It's called ideas at the moment. You can name it what you like. And instead of just having the dot, it now changes the whole folder color. The other thing you can do is tap and hold, come back to here and add an emoji to it as well. So here for logic, I'm going to hit emoji and I like this CD, which looks kind of like the logic emoji. Uh, it's not going there. CD, no, compact, I saw it, compact disc, I can see it trying to go there, but it's not quite there. Okay, it gets this flag instead. You get the gist of this one anyway. Let's close out of that one there. Now, we've got two brand new views here. You can use your normal column view at the side here, or you can tap on this button and go to a tab view. So now you can get your tabs up the top. It just gives you more screen real estate to play around with, which is kind of cool. Let's talk about something that is not coming. And by the way, this is iPad OS 26. This is the brand new beta version, the development beta. I don't recommend that you update to this one right now. It will be available as a public beta in July and as the full version probably around September this year. But if you want to try it, you can join the developer program and have a play. So we've lost something. We've lost the ability to go to our three dots up the top and do slide over. So I know many of you loved using your files app in slide over mode. That's no longer there. But the trade-off is we now have this very cool windowing system. So we can actually change. You'll see we've got the little thing at the bottom there. We can change the size of our files app to whatever size we want. So I think it's a pretty fair trade-off. Uh, let's go in and uh, we can actually change a lot of these options. So we've always had things like the date modified and the kind and things but now we can actually change the size let's just go back to full screen by going to the top left here you can actually change how much room is taken up here so if you don't need all that date modified we definitely don't need that much uh, room there for the kind you can actually change those the other thing you can do is actually add in additional file filters so if we go to the three dots here in the top right tap on those ones you'll see that we have date created date last open size so size is always a handy one to have here so we can actually you see the size now when you're in a folder you won't see the sizes but as soon as we like expand these out yes we'll get to that in a moment you can see that the actual files once we get to those do have the actual sizes of those so very very cool options there so there's a heap more that you can actually add in there uh, sometimes the date created is more useful than the date modified and again you can use those changes those little sliders to change the size between those I showed you these but these little tabs are super handy I'm loving these as someone who came from Windows I love the file manager in Windows I know Windows Explorer is my friend believe it or not but you can actually use these to expand out and have everything in the same view instead of the past way which is you had to go all the way into the folder and then come back out again this is just a quick way to navigate around between your folders when you're opening files if we come here into audio share and come in here to these you've now got some options here so if we tap and hold you've now got open with so look at all the different options that we have now for some reasons thumb jam is the default open with for these ones but we can change this to any of my my audio programs or apps or anything that we would like that to be including the new preview app except we don't because that's not for audio but if it was visual you'd be able to use preview the cool thing is that we can actually set that as a default so that every time we open up a file it will actually open up using that hooray no more third-party opener apps although i do feel bad for the folks who made the third-party opener apps that we no longer have to use we've also got some good get info options in here so if we come into this video file file and this is an audio file uh, and we again double tap or tap and hold we can actually go to the get info and uh, this has actually been expanded out it's got a whole bunch of stuff in here and you can always have the always open in here so you can change your default if you're wondering where that is and where you can go to do that it also tells you exactly where it is and you can jump straight to there if you want to go into that folder super handy you can tell I kind of like these new file changes you can add your folders to the dock down here 
I don't get a whole lot of value or understanding about why you would, but if you did want to, all you need to do is tap and hold on this folder here, and we can actually go down to here, add to dock, and it's going to add that to our dock down below. And when we tap on it, it's going to give you any of the files that are in there, and you can jump over there and go straight into your files from there. And there they are, super duper handy. And that means if you're not in the files app, if you're out here, you can actually go straight to the files app. Now you probably noticed there, this is the one bonus tip because someone asked about this and I didn't know. So I experimented with it and found that yes, you can open two versions. In fact, someone gave me another comment that said, don't forget to show that you can open two versions of the same app. So let's open the files app here. Let's use our little traffic lights in the top right here to, in fact, we don't want to minimize it. We want to change the size. So let's change the size there. Actually, what we want to do is use our new windowing system. Let's tap and hold and go and put this on the left. And then let's tap here. Now, you can't just tap on it to open it again because it's already open. It'll just show you this. So you tap and hold on files. And what you can do is go new window and it will open a second files. It did crash the first time I did this. It's a beta. I did warn you about that, right? Now we can tap and hold on this one and we can tap on the right side. And if you used something like Xtree or Norton Commander, where my old DOS friend's at, you can now have two completely separate independent windows open here and you can navigate between the two and actually drag folders from one over to the other. It just gives you a nice clean interface and a nice way to get your files in order. Do you have other tips? Have you been playing around with this? Have you installed the new iPad OS 26 beta version? Do let me know down in the comments below. And if there's anything else you'd like me to demonstrate here, please let me know about that as well. There is a complete deep dive into all of the iPad OS 26 features. You'll find that video on the screen right now, as well as down in the description. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you next time.